Good news, the CSI Net scorecard just arrived. Well, Biotechnica informed everybody and now everybody must have downloaded the scorecard. But this opens a Pandora of questions, a lot of questions about what's next. Well, the first thing here, it's a good news. Why? Because if the scorecard comes now, the final result should come in another 10 to 14 days. Okay, so that's another good news. But that also means that we are on schedule to conduct the second exam in December. So this is the, the general schedule which CSIR strategy follows. So for those who have got a lower percentile or percentage, don't worry, you can always apply for Watson scholarship. The applications for that also closes on 31st July. So you can always apply for Watson scholarship and prepare for the next exam. However, for those who are just uh, getting started and they have written the exam for the first time, they will have a lot of questions like I'm getting a lot of questions on Telegram and WhatsApp. And one of the common questions which uh, students are asking is, okay, I got the scorecard, so what should I do with it, right? So basically, you can't do anything. You just got a signal, a hint, idea, an idea that, okay, uh, are you qualifying or not? So anybody who is less than the cutoff would not have qualified. So if you are in general category and if your score is way lesser, like, uh, lesser than 98 or something, 98 percentile. So you are not qualifying, right? So stuff like that. So I don't want to want you to want to be the delivery man for a bad news, but uh, trust me, if your uh, percentile is lesser than uh, the cutoff, there's no point in you know waiting for the final result. You can straight away go for the next exam. So that's something you should know, and there's no harm in that, right? So the next point here is okay. You've got the scorecard. You can pretty much do nothing with it. All you all you know is okay. It's a signal that you have qualified. Right? But it is not the final result because the final result, finalization takes time. They will look at the ranks and then depending on the seats, they will give you the uh, rank. Right, So that's first thing. Now the second thing is, uh, can I use this scorecard to apply for the PhD? No, you cannot. But definitely you can always, you can always try to start an unofficial conversation with your professor or guide or future guide that okay I've got this much percentile so if I if in case I'm qualifying CSN and would you be interested in getting started with me something like that you can always do now the question is when the cutoff will come and when the final results will come so basically as far as my conversation with CSIR HRDG um, officials goes they've said in between 10 to 14 days so definitely before 15th of August they're going to release your final scores however uh, they are notorious uh, for releasing the next application form first and then releasing the results and why do they do that god knows but uh, one of the reasons is probably that they want to inflate the number of applications for the next CSIR right so they always do that they they will not release the results. Instead, they will release the application for the next exam. So people who have qualified or not, they will still apply and then they will release the you know, uh, final result of the previous exam. This happens almost every year, but let's see, probably this year it may not happen. So these are the pointers I wanted to share. Now, for those who have a lesser percentile, do not worry, apply for Watson scholarship, get your scholarship at Biotechnica and start preparing for CSI and at GATE and various other entrance exams and build a 360 degree career. Now, for those who have already qualified, congratulations. And there is a third category who is like, okay, they're almost on the borderline. They are not sure whether they are going to qualify or not. Well, you have a chance to get 100% Watson scholarship. So anybody who feels or who is on the borderline of CSIN at like 98 percentile or something, please apply and I'm going to give you 100% scholarship. So only three seats are left now. The fourth one is already done. Yesterday only we gave a girl 100% scholarship. So, but now based on your percentile in this exam also, I can give you 100% scholarship in Watson Impact Scholarship. So these were the pointers which I wanted to share. I'm sure you'll have a lot of other questions. So for that, there is a comment section. Ask me there and also you can reach out to me personally at shaker at biotechnica.org. We'll keep you posted on the next developments at CSIR HRDG. And in the meanwhile, do not stop preparing. Keep in touch with the subject and make sure that you continuously uh, revise because this helps you two ways. The first is if you qualify, you will be you will not go blank in the uh, interviews. And the second is, of course, if you don't qualify, you, you your preparation continues, right? So these are the pointers uh, which I wanted to share. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. See you soon in the next one. T till then, keep shining. Bye bye.